as we've uh, been doing here recently, uh, I'd like this all to uh, observe a moment of silence and use that however you do fit. Okay, uh, item three, patron communications. Talk to a bunch tonight. Okay, <laughs> uh, minute approval from the December 2016 <coughs> meeting. I move to approve. A second. Okay, uh, any discussion on the minutes as presented? Hearing the none, uh, those in favor of approval say aye. 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 Item five, election of officers. Um, normally we do this, it's kind of a strange deal with us being appointed board, our terms run from July through June each year. And so each July we do a board reorganization. And then uh, the last few years we've actually done it in January as well. Uh, there is a statute that's in place for elected boards uh, that mandates that the reorganization fall within the first 15 days of the, of the term. And so it's not technically necessary to do so uh, midterm. Uh, in this case tonight, there will be some changes in the uh, in the makeup of the board officers uh, for some personal reasons, um, largely vocationally related. Uh, from a time allocation standpoint, I need to step away from uh, being the president. So, as such, uh, I would open the floor for nominations for uh, the president of the board. Your second? Second. Okay. Any other nominations for president? Hearing none, those in favor of Mr. Peden as president, say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Abstain. Okay. <laughs> Four zero one, and now uh, we'll open the floor for nominations for vice president. I'll uh, nominate Doug Middleton for vice president. Second. Okay. Any other nominations for vice president? All right. Those in favor of Doug Middleton as vice president, say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Aye. Okay. And secretary. Nominations for secretary. Since uh, Monty is currently the secretary, or was the secretary, this will need to be uh, replaced. I'll make the motion to Jenny B. Herbert, Secretary, if you'd like to take that position. <laughs> I'll second that. Any objection, Mrs. Herbert? Okay. Any other nominations for Secretary? Okay, those in favor of Mrs. Herbert as Secretary, say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Okay, 401. So we are now reorganized. All right, uh, the item six is the appointment of the Board of Finance Officers. 
Now, do we need to do that in a separate finance meeting, or we can do that in this meeting? We can do, we can do that in this meeting. Okay. Uh, the prior finance officers were uh, Brett and myself, and uh, so I will open the floor for nominees for finance officers. Can you quickly explain the duties and um, kind of purpose there? Mm. You want to give a little background, Dr. Boyd? Basically, the Board of Finance meets once a year, once a year basically, uh, selecting the deposit for your accounts, overseeing the budget preparation process, and the flow of that budget during the course of the year. Quite often, the uh, Board of Finance is made up of the offices of the board, but it doesn't have to be. Is that enough? Okay. Right, you and I are the current. Right. And again, this is an annual appointment. I would be willing to remain with the caveat that, uh, again, my term does actually lapse as of the end of June. So if it's an annual appointment, you could potentially have to do a reappointment or replacement appointment in July. Well, I will make the motion that Monty, the president, and Brett is presently on the board, that we put Monty and Brett in those positions. I'll second that. <laughs> okay. Any other nominees? Okay. Uh, those in favor of Mr. Pete and Mr. <coughs> Sanders, say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Aye. Aye. Three zero two. All right. Okay, uh, item seven, personnel changes. <clears throat> Comments, Dr. Boyd? The, uh, I've received the information on Lieutenant Frank's retirement effective at the close of the current school year. Um, we're going to be missed. Uh, I haven't been here very long, but I've been here long enough to get to know Tim. And uh, somewhere in the next few months, we're going to have to get some carbon paper between his brain and the end of his pencil. <laughs> and um, I'm sure that we're on target to find a good replacement. Tim will be missed. Okay, and then we have uh, Joel Harmon as the eighth grade girls basketball coach. I think the rest on your on list are very self explanatory from the information that you were sent and uh, the positions and who those people are. Entertain a motion regarding the personnel recommendations. Make a motion we approve the personnel changes as presented. I'll second that. Any discussion on that? I just kind of want to echo Dr. Boyd's thoughts on Tim. You know, he was here for a really long time and obviously big time commitment, big personal commitment. Um, I think you know, he definitely took his job personally and uh, I believe went the extra mile to, uh, to make sure that things were handled as well as they could be and uh, you know he, he did a, I think a really good job for us so it will be a difficult position for us to replace him. In the Hearing no other discussion, those in favor of the personal changes say aye. 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 aye zero. All right. Item eight, approval of the 2017-2018 school calendar. Dr. Boyd, do you have any comments? <coughs> you can send a copy of them. It shows a uh, balance in student days between the first and second semester 
of 90 student days in each of those semesters. Uh, school will actually begin uh, for a future work day by this calendar on August the 3rd. First student day will be Friday, August the 4th. From there, it pretty much follows the same pattern of the calendar for the current school year and that there will be a fall break of one week in the third week of October. Uh, the usual November uh, Thanksgiving break. The two week break at Christmas with an additional two days so that we can balance out uh, the number of days in each semester. So Christmas break would actually begin on the 21st of December uh, with uh, ending on the 5th of January with teacher work day on the 8th of January um, to begin the second semester then with students on, on the 9th. Uh, the spring break would be the last week in March, first week in April, which reflects the same as it is this year. Uh, the last student day would be the 31st of May, it would be three student days after Memorial Day with the final teacher work day on June 1st. The calendar would call for graduation to be on Sunday, June the 3rd. This calendar has been discussed with members of the Jesse uh, Special Ed Co-op, which we try to coordinate uh, schedules with. It reflects as closely to that as we can make it. It's also been discussed with uh, the Teachers Association, and Rocky gives his blessing to this as well. So I would recommend its approval for the 2017-18 school year. Questions? Was there any discussion with uh, the vocational cooperative? They are part of that conversation. Okay, so they're, they're involved yes. in the yes, Jesse they conversation. Yes, okay. Okay. No questions. I'll entertain a motion regarding the 2017-2018 school calendar. I move we approve the 2017-18 calendar as presented. I'll second that. Further discussion? Hearing none, those in favor say aye. 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 <clears throat> Can this be posted on the school's website now? Having approved it, let me make one more comment. Uh, there are some days that will have to be designated e-learning days, those kinds of things that will have to be plugged in now that the framework has been approved. As soon as we get that done, it will be made public. Okay. I have my internet activities policy. Comments? Um, this is just a uh, policy that USAC would like to see us go through with and approve every year with the board, uh, basically saying they're blessing on it for us to still continue to get USAC E rate money, uh, the fundings that uh, allows us to upgrade a lot of infrastructure that we don't have the money for. So, this is a policy that pretty well works hand in hand with kind of the agreed upon policy that everyone signs when Chromebooks are issued and everything on behalf of the students. As well. Yeah, it's pretty much the same policy, it is the same policy. <coughs> Um, it's just showing uh, USAC that you know we are abiding by um, all rules and we are uh, following the uh, uh, Child Internet Protection Act. So uh, that's all they want to see to make sure that we're following those rules. Questions for Justin? Retain a motion regarding the Internet Activities Policy. So moved. A second. Discussion? Those in favor say aye. 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 Zero. Items for future discussion. You have anything for tonight, for tonight first, Dr. Boyd? Okay. Uh, claim approval. Yes. <clears throat> The plan docket for this meeting <clears throat> contains 10 pages of accounts payable in the amount of 
$962.46, three pages of payroll claims totaling $234,987.24 for a total of $968,000. $949.70. Uh, that does include our December bond payments, <clears throat> which makes it an, a, a, an increased no, number from normal um, by about $400,000. So that's what would make it a, a little bit higher than you're used to. <clears throat> Questions on any of the claims? Mm -hmm. Hearing none, I'll entertain a motion regarding the claims. I'd like a motion to approve claims as read. And a second. Discussion? Those in favor say aye. 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 Financials, Mrs. Lee. Yes. Uh, there were some revised reports put in your packet uh, this morning, um, but I just want to explain what those are. Um, I, ha I needed to do a December 2016 uh, avoid so that it was in the correct calendar year. It was a minor amount, but I did want to, you to note that there is there are some updated uh, reports and they're marked revised in your, um, in your Google Doc. Um, the bottom line of the general fund, we ended up at $307,248.21 um, as of December 31st, 16. Are there any questions on any of the <clears throat> reports. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Good. Thank you. <coughs> I did not see any professional developments mm -hmm. reports for this month. So I guess we will move to something that's not on the agenda, but I'll, I'll give Dr. Boyd the opportunity to make some comments if he desires. Uh, just a <clears throat> point of information, the uh, letters of teacher intent for next year have gone out. Uh, we're getting them back in now. I think the deadline is uh, maybe the 21st of uh, January, if I recall, off the top of my head. So we should have uh, that information to work with as we uh, begin planning for next year. That said, uh, I've had uh, some time um, with Nick uh, this week and some last week and this week uh, talking about scheduling for next year for the high school and looking at some of the priorities, some of the staffing issues, that sort of thing. So uh, that process is, is underway and, and will be ongoing. Okay. Board comments. I don't know where I started last time. So, uh, Jenny. Mm, I don't have anything tonight. <clears throat> Doug? Nope. Brett? Um, mine will actually be a question. I know before we went to. Um, Christmas break, we had to carry over finals into this year, which is something new for us. Um, I just wondered if there were any comments about how that worked out, and I guess I would be willing to even hear from the teachers or principals that are here. Just, you know, how do you, did that go okay, is my question. Rocky. As far as I was concerned, since the, the students were well informed about it in advance and everything was very well planned, when it, if it had gone as it was supposed to, they knew exactly what to expect and what would be happening when they came back, and I really didn't see okay. it causing any problem. All right. It's not ideal, of course, but I guess it worked out okay. Okay. Like, he, like Rocky said, they had, they had time to prepare, and so we did a lot of review before Christmas break, too, so, but... 
the weatherman that could have cooperated. Yeah. Okay. I'm good then. Thank you. Mike. Well, um, it's been a new year, and I guess all I can say is uh, without experience as board president, I will try to do the best I can. <laughs> Well, I guess I'll just close by saying that, you know, uh, again, it's not like we're going to leave uh, Monty out there and hang him out to dry. Um, well, maybe we will. No. Uh, it, it's really a, there's a, a big time commitment, especially when there's a search for different positions. Um, unfortunately, I've been um, front and center on a couple of... Uh, superintendent searches uh, during my tenure on the board and uh, it's a big time commitment as far as just getting logistics in place and, and uh, making sure that the process is followed the way it needs to be. So Monty is certainly best equipped to handle that from a time and commitment standpoint and we will certainly be here to support him with any um, suggestions, thoughts, background insight on uh, historical developments and, and uh, again what the requirements may be which of course Dr. Boyd again that's one of his real strong suits so that's one of the, the real blessings that we have uh, with Dr. Boyd being here and leading us through this interim period and I guess that's all I would have. I will entertain a motion for adjournment. So moved. Second. No discussion. Those in favor say aye. 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 And we are adjourned at 7.23.